people are our most important asset. Certainly we sell new vehicles, sell parts, but lots of other dealerships sell those exact same vehicles or those exact same parts. And so what it really ultimately boils down to is our people. Can our people make better impressions? Can they do a better job? Can they exceeding customers' expectations? And, and Nasser and Voc Rehab have been a tremendous asset in our organization, helping us have a strong foundation by putting the right people in touch with us. I started off with love as a porter, parking cars and shuttling customers. And I just sort of started helping out. When I saw a problem, I, I fixed it. As he's continued with us, we learned more and more about his skill set, his desires, what, what he wanted to do um, as a career, not just a job, but as a career. And uh, we were able to make that fit within our organization, and it, it, he's, he's just flourished. Bradley, who's been with us about five and a half years now, he progressed from Porter at Love to now running our IT department. He is our IT department. I manage all of our um, information infrastructure, and that's from the client PCs all the way up to the, the circuits that provide services for us. It all flows through Bradley. And boy, I tell you, when you talk about striking gold, we definitely struck gold when, when Bradley Green came to work with Love. Probably the most amazing part to me is he's literally a self-taught IT guru. One of the benefits from working with VR is we wind up getting applicants or candidates like Bradley, people who you know have gone through training, have been evaluated through VR, and, and you get candidates that you know want to succeed. Bradley came to us, a single young man, not too long out of school, and he's grown started a family, purchased a home. He's a success, and that's extremely rewarding to see people that you, you, you bring on and you watch them flourish within in the environment. I was looking for clerical work, and actually it was the day before my birthday when Nasser told me about the job here. And I thought about it, and I decided to go for it. We generate a lot of paperwork in our business when we have to maintain that paperwork for years at a time. Before Anna, we were extremely uh, backed up in our filing, well behind, but Anna came in, uh, got focused on it, got us caught up, and then at one of our other stores, we had a similar situation. So right now, she's currently working at that store, catching their file room up. Oh, I love it here. The people are wonderful. Uh, ben and Mark are awesome. I feel like I'm appreciated here. They treat, they treat you like family. And I, 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 I can't speak highly enough of them. They're just great. We wanted to reward her and recognize her for what she had accomplished. We wanted her to go out for a nice dinner on us and also gave her a $100 gift card to a local spa. It just happened to be, it was just before Father's Day. So Miss Anna took her dad out to dinner for Father's Day with her Longhorns gift card from Love Chevrolet. So that was, that was a pretty neat story that uh, we were trying to pamper her for a great job and she turned around and did something special for her dad. I've always loved cars, loved working on them growing up. Me and my dad, that's what we like to do. And you know, I've always been told you know, when I was younger that guy, girls couldn't do what guys could. And, you know, I was ready to prove them wrong. I was ready to show them, like, yeah, we can. We can do this. Working at Love Chevrolet, it's a blessing because it's an experience not many 18-year-olds get to have. Angel, in our quick loop here at Love Chevrolet, she is already uh, wowed us. She's done such a tremendous job for us and she's got such a great personality and good skill set. I do oil changes and I do tire rotations. I also greet customers and write up cars. She keeps the guys down there on their toes. 
You know, it's a great thing. I love, I'm glad that my mom introduced me to VR. You know, I probably wouldn't be able to have this job without them. It's a great environment. It, we're like a family. And that's what I like because it's good to know that the people that you work with have your back, no matter what. It's one of a kind job. I tell you that, it's, it's a, it's a life-changing experience. You know, this coming up September will be six, be six years that I've been here. And it's just, you learn so much just through working in a car bit, you know, car dealership. And you meet a lot of people and it, it just take you through some changes. And back then I used to, back then I was smaller, didn't really, you know, was kind of nervous about everything now, but it's, it's really changing me to the man I want to be. Wendell came to us right out of high school, started with us in one of our quick lubes, and then has graduated into a technician role. When I first started off at the Mitsubishi store, I had customers come in and they would only request me to work on their car. They knew how I was when they come to work and I take their care of their stuff like I take care of my car. After I left there, I went to the Chevy store and those customers that was at the Casey store, they followed me to the Chevy store. They said, oh, you up here now. <laughs> and after I worked there for about five years, I went to the Buick store and they followed me over there. <laughs> we really like to find the, the, the people that we think are a great fit so they can be with us long term. That is a key to our success and what I think brings a lot of customers to our business. They're able to develop a relationship with our employees. It's your attitude at the end because your attitude will take you farther in life. I mean, if you really show people that you're really motivated and you really want to do the job, it's, it's out there. You just got to go get it. I hadn't worked in almost five years. All I did was clean houses on the side and make just enough to get by, but I wanted more. I have a daughter at home, four years old, and I wanted to do better. Andrea Hudson uh, has got probably one of the most important roles in our dealership, and that is to keep our facility looking nice. It's amazing how sometimes it's the little things that can disappoint a customer or exceed that customer's expectations. And Andrea does a fabulous job. She starts early every day. She's making things happen, making sure when we open that door for our customers that the place is right. They make me feel like my job is just as important as the sales managers, as the, as the FIA managers, because it starts with how the place looks. I don't think we have ever had as many compliments about the inside appearance of our facility since Andrew has been here. I wanted a job, I wanted a career, and I got it here. And thank God for them because they saw something in me that nobody else did. And I'm so thankful for them, they changed my life. Voc Rehab took me through the process of being able to be work ready again. You have to be able to come to work on time. You have to know when to, to go to lunch. You have to know when to come back. And you have to know what they expect of you and to do it. I just got acclimated to, to things again there. And it was always someone saying, do you need help? Or can I help you do this? Can I show you what to do next? Francis started with us, gosh, it's been at least 11 years now started working with us at our Saturn facility, and we were fortunate enough to have Frances come with us to our Chevy store. And she essentially has helped us build what we call a business development center. With all this new technology, emails, text, Facebook, so many ways people today communicate and communicate so fast, the world has changed dramatically inside a car dealership. And Frances has helped us I think not only keep up with other dealerships, but actually be ahead of the vast majority of other dealerships. She has helped move us into the 21st century. And she's extremely passionate about what she does. I know there's, there's some stories floating around about her work ethic. Frances was out one time for some minor surgery. From her hospital bed, she remotely attended one of our meetings. Uh, and, and we could not start that meeting until she had her computer set up where she could listen and, and see what was going on. And the story even gets better because we're going through our meeting 
we're just about to wrap up. We're down to the, 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 the brass tacks of it, down to the final moments here, making some decisions. The doctor walks in Francis's room to do a follow-up with her, and you hear a little muffled conversation in the back. Doc, you're gonna have to wait a minute. I'm on an important call. So <laughs> I don't know how you could get any more dedicated than, than Francis Luke. I mean, this is home to me. You know, I spend a lot of hours here, but it's, it's not really like working. But you know, I, I enjoy what I do. We couldn't be as successful as we are today without her and her input and her impact on our business. Well, I can tell you, I think Voc Rehab offers business owners the opportunity for a tremendous relationship. A relationship where you can have folks that are genuinely concerned about you, your business, your staff, and the people that they're working with, and can help match folks up with the right employer. And all you have to do is, is look at success stories like Francis or Bradley or Anna or Andrea. We could go on and on. That's working for everybody in the state. That's working for the taxpayers of the state. That's working for Voc Rehab. They've, they've accomplished their mission. It's working for Love Chevrolet. It's working for our employees. It's working for our customers. You're stacking the deck in your favor for a big success story. And that's what we've had a lot of, a lot of success.